Good morning, everyone. This is Ida. We're back, you guys, with group 10. And even though it's early, guys, I'm wide awake. I have been awake for hours. So, um, starting us off in group 10 of the Christmas Shape Tag Swap 2018. My first time ever to host one of these swaps for the Christmas holidays. Um, starting us off is Miss Emma. Manjafico and she does have a YouTube channel and I believe she did a project share guys on her tags I will link her in the description box just click on more below you guys and you will see that little pop-up and everybody's information will be there and I just have to thank all the ladies you all have done an amazing job you stepped up to the plate I really appreciate you know um, you stepping up, you know, and put bringing your A game for your group members. I, I really appreciate that because I like when somebody does that. And I try to do that all the time. I know that we don't all create the same, but I do try to do that. Um, that being said, we're going to start off with Miss Emma. And this is what her packages look like, guys. I wish I had some Christmas music or something going on. But I don't want to get in trouble because I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff you guys do on your videos. Um, but this is what her swap looks like, you guys. And look at how pretty. I love the gingerbread tag. I don't know if these were pre-made tags or if she made them. But she did personalize everybody's name on them. This is Michelle's. This is Miss Andre's. This is Scrap and Fever. And uh, she put everything in the individual little bags. And she used a washi tape that don't open until December 25th washi tape. I think somebody gifted this tape and I really love it. I don't have this tape. I very seldom buy washi tape, you guys. You you will probably never get washi tape from me <laughs> because I very seldom buy it. Anyway, everybody's tag is individually wrapped. She's got these beautiful bag toppers, ones in the very bright uh, foil red and metallic red and one in the gold. Look at how pretty. And she did include a goodie for everyone. Look at how pretty this color is. That's beautiful. I love blue. So this is, like I said, Miss Michelle's, Miss Andre's, and Scrappin' Fever. But Miss Emma created one for me. So we'll be able to see what's in the packages, you guys. So let me bring in what she created for me. That way you will have something pretty to look at. And uh, let me set these back in here because I've been working really hard, you guys, trying to stay straight. As far as my swaps go, I don't think anybody's has been confused. I think everybody's getting what they're supposed to get. And everything has been uh, shipped out, you guys. Or everything that I've recorded so far, except yesterday's. And I'm going to try and wrap everything up today, but we'll see. Anyway, this is the one that Miss Emma created for me. Again, she's got this beautiful gingerbread boy right here with my name written on the front. And she wrapped everything with this beautiful white and silver metallic edge ribbon. It's very narrow, the one eighth of an inch. She's got her washi tape right here, pretty. And of course her um, foil bag toppers right here. And then there's a goodie. This is a beautiful color too, I like this. And I guess she's got one of those shops that my friend uh, uh, Carolyn shops at where she finds the amazing little flat back pearls at a really good price uh, because I recognize that label. My friend Carolyn always sends me stuff from there. And I love it, sis. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to remove this, guys, but I am going to save this. I am going to save this. I probably couldn't use unless I put a poinsettia or something because my name's short, so I could definitely get away with covering that up. But for, for the most part, you probably won't be able to. So I'm going to show you what she gifted everyone as a goodie. And she did put it in another bag. And let's see. And I try not to damage the bags, you guys, because I do put them away and reuse them. Because they are most of the time in very good condition. And if you just kind of put them away, you can reuse, at least reuse it once or twice. So I try to do that. I don't waste anything. Well, let me put this away. But this is the lace trim that she gifted. And I can open this on the bottom. That's pretty. 
Look at this. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. This is kind of uh, firm, you guys. It's very firm, but it is like organza, but it's firm. And it's got this beautiful edging right here in the cream and here and then also up here. And then it's got the gold going through it. It is so pretty. And they're on these um, plasticky um, sheets right here. So pretty. Thank you so much, Miss Emma. I love it. And I have to tell you, Miss Emma, your package came in for the Christmas, uh, for the Not So Secret Santa swap. And I was just drooling. Oh my goodness. I had to show it off to my daughter. And she loved it. Your presentation is on point. You guys, make sure to come back for that because there's a lot of amazing crafters that are in this swap. So anyway, this is the goodie that she gifted everyone, but in different colors. And then let me show you tag one. So this is tag one, you guys. And she has the gold foil topping. And she's got the gold and white washi tape right here. And let's get into this one. And I'm going to see if I can just kind of... I even reuse the washi, guys. I usually put it on my table. And, um, oops, I don't know if we can get into this one without damaging. We might, we might, we might get away with it. Yes. We might get away with it. Oh, crazy me, look at this, guys. I could have just opened it from the bottom. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to set it right here at the end of my desk. Give me a pretty border right here. And let's take out the tag. So here is the first tag that Miss Emma made. Look at how pretty she made like an ornament shaker and she's got the snowflakes. It looks like she's got glass glitter in there and she's got gold and iridescent snowflakes and then the little hexagons and the gold it's so pretty and i recognize this piece i don't know if you made it miss emma or this came from maybe a box we were in together and my friend nisha who is inspiring beautiful creations she made us some of these and i'm still hoarding mine miss emma i don't know how you parted with yours <laughs> I'm still hoarding mine. And she's got the acetate up here, you guys, for her shaker. She hung this beautiful tag right here. And they she made this beautiful double loop bow with um with a seam binding. Look at how pretty that is. And she did edge the the ornament with some uh silver bling. So pretty. And then here's the to and from in the back. And it looks like she used the uh, sugar blush paper from the Michaels. So pretty, Miss Emma. And this, guys, it, it is a sturdy tag. Thank you, Miss Emma. Thank you, Miss Emma. So pretty. And let's move on to tag two, you guys. Here is tag two. And again, she's got this beautiful washi down here. And then the, the red foil, metallic foil topping topper on here. Beautiful. I don't know if this is a gift card holder or a topper. I've seen it used, but I don't own it, so I'm not sure exactly. Look at the beautiful poinsettia. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Let's see if I can get into this one. And hopefully be able to get it out from the bottom and not how I did the last one. Heh <laughs> It wants to curl up, you guys. I'm trying to straighten it up so I can set it down somewhere without ruining it up too much. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. It's not going to get me. I'm going to... Seriously. There we go. So I'm just going to put one on top of the other. <laughs> and uh, this we can open from the bottom, you guys, as I found out on the first one. That I could have opened it from the bottom and let's see if I can open it enough to get the tag out yeah I think so I think we can yeah it's coming 
So here is tag two, guys. Look at how pretty. And she's got it encrusted, you guys. The back, she used like some kind of maybe black a background with poinsettias on it. And she encrusted it with the diamond uh, dust on it. So it's very, very shimmery. And then she's got this beautiful poinsettia. And I don't know if she made this or if she bought it like this. But it's red glitter paper. So pretty. And it's multi-layered. And she's got this beautiful silver uh, center on here. So pretty. Oh my goodness. And it is like a dome shape. And she's got, here's her hanging element. Is this beautiful uh, red and silver ribbon. Look at how pretty that is. Look at how shimmery. Can you guys see the shimmer on that? It's very, very pretty, Miss Emma. And she did add an eyelet. You can't see it because it's really dark, but it's, well, maybe you can. So pretty. And then here is the back. There's the to and from, again, with her Christmas uh, paper. I don't recognize this paper line, uh, but I can tell that it is Christmas paper. Thank you so much, Miss Emma, for playing, and thank you so much for creating one for me, and thank you for the goodie. I really do love lace. I um, use it in moderation, you know, bits here and there, but I do use it, and I absolutely love it. Um, I actually have a little acrylic uh, suitcase where I can see right through it, and I try to keep all my lace in there that way when I need a piece of lace I can see right through it so definitely this will go into that thank you so much thank you for playing thank you for creating one for me thank you for uh for the goodie that you gifted not just because you gifted it to me but to your swap partners I want to thank you for that and you guys make sure to show Miss Emma some love and make sure to come back and watch the Secret Santa and see her presentation because it is beautiful. And I'm going to link, guys, the video to this uh, particular tags because she did do a video on that. So I'll be able to link that. Thank you, Miss Emma. I forgot to show you one thing, guys. Uh, Miss Emma sent me a Christmas card. Look at this. How pretty it is. And she really is just thanking me for, for hosting the swap and for letting her join. Of course, I would let you join. And uh, wishing me a happy Thanksgiving. And I know that these videos are long overdue, guys, but I, it just couldn't be helped with, um, you know, the people I had missing. But this is a beautiful card that Miss Emma sent me. Thank you, Miss Emma. And uh, up next, you guys, we have uh, Miss Michelle Randolph. And I think she is, I'm not sure if she's Michelle Randolph on YouTube. I think she is. But I will definitely make sure to post um, the link in the description box. Look at the beautiful presentation, you guys. Miss Michelle, let me tell you. When I looked at your package, when I took it out, the package was like this. And when I flipped it over and saw this beautiful lantern, I gasped. And I'm not kidding because I didn't expect it. But um, you know what? And I'm going to flip them over, you guys, because uh, I want you to see it later. But look at the beautiful card Miss Michelle sent me. I will treasure this. I will display it. I don't color well. And look at the beautiful coloring. I don't know. I think that you colored this because I have seen some of your work. And it is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Oh, my goodness. And I do have some little girl stamps that uh, I have purchased and that my friend Carolyn has gifted me. But my coloring <laughs> is nothing like this. Not a bit. Look, guys. It's got the little, um, what do you call these? Are these the Lala Land dolls? I'm not sure. It's not the Gorgeous Girls. I think it's Lala Land. And uh, she's got this beautiful spray right here. It is super pretty, you guys. Can you see that? And the snowflake. And it says Mary and Jolly. And it's like it's a Polaroid. And her picture is in the center of that silver metallic, I mean, silver glitter frame. And she's got a little snowflake up here that I guess uh, it comes with a stamp. But Miss Michelle kind of uh, stickled it up. 
and it is super pretty. Look at the coloring, the shading, guys, on the hair. I can never in my wildest dreams even think that my coloring is ever going to look like that. And not that I'm putting myself down. It's just some people don't have that gift. I don't have it. And then she's got this beautiful lace down here with the little trim. So pretty. And this is an easel card. And she didn't write in it, I guess, so I could... Uh, she wrote me a note in there, but she didn't write in the card because I guess she thinks I would give it away like that would happen and it is an easel card and it stands up on this snowflake is what holds it up and she's got it layered it it is in the mint green base and then she's got the silver glitter lining and then she's got the white over it and of course the beautiful snowflake to uh, so it will stand up but no this is not going to anybody I'm going to read her note really quick you guys while you look at that she says she had fun creating the tags for you guys and she hopes that you like them yes definitely definitely she says I never sign my cards so you can use it uh no blessings and hugs Michelle thank you Michelle but I'm sorry, uh, but this card is going to have to uh, live with me. It has a permanent residence here in my home, <laughs> so it's not going anywhere because I can I don't color like this. And I've seen a couple of people that, oh my goodness, they can color. So I'm going to put it back in the bag because I don't want to damage it. So super pretty. So that was her card, you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. So even though you can still see her tag, I'm going to flip them around because I want you to see her presentation. Look at how pretty. And uh, she, Michelle did make one for me, so we'll be able to open one up. And they're not personalized, not that I could see, so it doesn't matter which one I open. But look at this, guys. Look at her. She's got it in the clear resealable bag. And she's got this beautiful bag topper. And I don't know if she cut this out with a silhouette or a Cricut. Uh, it doesn't look like a die. It, it, it looks more like a silhouette cut file or something and she's got she's got the uh, the base and then she's got the overlay that's what I call them overlays the ones that are inset and then this beautiful iridescent fringe with the little pom-pom trim and this glittered up bow on top there's the front and there's the back and here's all her information YouTube Michelle Randolph so yes it is Michelle Randolph and she did do a video on this guy so I will link uh, that video in the description box but look at how pretty and she does have a Facebook as well so there's all the information if you guys want to look at some more of her work definitely hop on over to her channel and show her some love so I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna open one of these beautiful packages I'm going to open one of these beautiful packages. Let me make sure I'm putting it in the right place. And let's see. Let's see. So again, here is the beautiful bag topper with the little fringe on, on front. And then the pom-pom trim and the bow definitely can be reused, you guys. And here is all of Michelle's information. It says YouTube Michelle Randolph, Facebook Michelle Emerson Randolph, and then it's got it has created to create Christmas shape tag swap, uh, November 2018, and here we are, guys, in December, and we're still not done. This was a very very large group, and um, but I did have a lot of fun. But sometimes, guys, it does get stressful. I have to be honest with you. It's, it was a little stressful, but it was fun as well. Let me see if I can open this without damaging too much. Yeah, there we go. She did send every, everyone some uh, goodies. And I think she's got a couple things here as far as her goodies go. Yeah. 
So here's one of the goodies that she included for everybody. Look at this beautiful, looks like a daisy chain lace. And she sent everybody quite a bit, you guys. This looks like about a yard of, of lace trim that she sent everybody. That will go in my little lace treasure chest. Oh my goodness, Miss Michelle, look at the pretty flowers. Look at the poinsettias, guys. And she made these for everyone. Oh my goodness, I could only make one set and then I'm bored and I'm ready to move on. But look at that. This is dedication, you guys. She used the, the paler pink down here and then she has the pink paper, but she did edge all the edges with a some type of distress ink in the pink and then she glittered it up with some of the that um those iridescent flakes and then she has the flat back pearls in the center look at that guys oh yes these are so pretty michelle you know guys i am hoarding some of the stuff that you guys have created for me for next year and i'll have part of my work done hopefully i won't send you what you created for me as far as uh, well, you know what? Sometimes I tend to do that, but I alter stuff a little bit more or just use it as a bag topper or something. But I'm going to show you bag, uh, bag one. Listen to me. Tag one. So here is tag one, you guys. And she made this beautiful wreath. And um, again, it looks like it, it was cut out with some type of... Uh, it was either a um, ephemera... But I don't think so. I think it was cut out with some type of machine, whether it be a Cricut or a Brother Scan and Cut. But it's a beautiful rose uh, wreath, and it has berries on it. It's so pretty, and she made it into a shaker. So it is a shaker, you guys. You see, see how they the sequins move in there. It is a shaker, and then she's got this beautiful uh, cluster of berries of stamens right here and berries and looks like little uh, stamens and then she's got this teeny tiny perfectly tied bow look at that in a, a sheer pink organza and her hanging element too is sheer pink organza that matches perfectly with the bow it must be the same organza and then the back this is removable, guys. This is the adhesive she had on there. And there is her to and from. It's so pretty, Michelle. Great job. Great, great job. So let's move on to tag two. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I ripped the paper and it's so pretty. I don't know if I could... See what I did, guys. So be careful if you want to reuse the paper because it's very pretty. It's in a mint green. And then here is her, um, here is tag two, you guys. Look at how pretty. I love lanterns. I've said it time and time again, I love lanterns. And when I saw this, I thought it was so pretty. I think she said this was the Knitwit collection. So I don't know if it's digital or what. And she cut it out with her machine. So the cut is very clean, guys. And she did make it. She said she originally was going to make it into a shaker and changed her mind. But look at her layering, guys. Look at how the flower collage she has here with the berries. OMG, that is super pretty. And she's got, guys, a layer on the bottom of silver glittered paper in the bottom as the background on the lantern to mimic like a frosted glass. And then she has, can you see the candle in there? And that is a layered piece, guys, the candle. Look at how pretty that is. And then she's got the acetate, and this is pretty thick. And then she has the printed lantern on top with this beautiful collage of, uh, I think this was from um, either Michael's or Hobby Lobby because I hauled this. Uh, it looks like a branch with a snow cl that's clinging to it. And she's got these berries up here and this beautiful uh, red and white bow, uh, a double loop bow that she probably created, a perfect bow again. And uh, let me turn it to the back, you guys. There's her to and from right here. And here is her hanging element. It's red, green, and white like a peppermint striped. Uh, twine. This is so pretty. It's very pretty, Michelle. 
Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. But, you know, if I had to pick out of the two, Miss Michelle, I would have to say the lantern. The lantern is always going to win for me. But they're both beautiful. Your flowers are amazing. Uh, the trim that you gifted the ladies. You did an amazing job. Thank you for playing, Miss Michelle. Thank you for creating one for me. I'm going to enjoy playing with all the goodies you ladies have sent. And uh, Michelle's uh, YouTube channel is going to be listed in the description box. So make sure to hop on over because obviously Michelle does beautiful work. So make sure you check her out. And thank you for playing, Miss Michelle. Up next, you guys, we have Scrappin' Fever here on YouTube, and her name is Miss Krista, and she made a card for me, guys, and I want to share that with you. Look at the beautiful card that she created, and she did make this card, guys. I've been lazy. I, be, I bought pre-made cards, and that's what I've been sending with my happy mail and stuff. So it says, Merry Days and Silent Nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the silent nights. And it says joy, uh, be warm, be cozy, be merry. And, and again, I don't know what paper line this is because I don't own it. It's pretty. Oh, she wrote me a little letter. You guys look at the pretties in my group. Thank you. She's telling me she included one for me. So look for your name. Okay, mine has my name on it. They must be personalized. Many blessings. Same to you, Miss Krista. Many blessings to you as well this holiday season and throughout the year. <laughs> yep, the back of each tag is personalized with each name. Yes. They are personalized, you guys, so uh, I will make sure, that's what she's telling me in her little note, that uh, they are personalized. So, let's see. I think they're personalized behind the tag, yes. This one is Michelle's. Look at her presentation, guys. Isn't that pretty? I love this peppermint stripe. This, guys, you could use to do... Um, to use it like if you want the stripes behind your, uh, if you're doing envelopes and you want it to look like those stripes, definitely you could use this bag for that. And look at how pretty it is. And she's got this tag, this pre-made tag that says joy. And she's got this little clothes pin that says, oh, don't fall apart. It doesn't say that. It says handmade with love. And she's got this beautiful ribbon. Oh, that's pretty. And there's the back. Like I said, they are all personalized. This is Miss Emma's. And I'm going to remove them as I'm reading them because I don't want to. Because I want to show you the back. This is Michelle's. I don't want to pull it and, and break the little clothespin that's holding it down. This one is Miss Andre's. And this one must be mine, guys, so we get to see this one. Yes, she's got it attached. Oh, it wasn't attached with the clothespin. It was just, this is just an extra that says, handmade with love. Yes, thank you so much. Definitely can reuse that, guys. And then here is her tag, you guys. And in the back is all her information. It says, to Ida from Krista Hamilton. And her channel name is Scrap and Fever. And uh, Ida's Christmas shaped tag swap at <laughs> Group 10. And there's her, her YouTube channel right there, Scrapping Fever. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Krista, for making one for me. And she just has this beautiful lace, guys, threaded through the back that you can uh, take out and use again. And if, if you don't want to waste this, guys, we all have the round die cuts. You could actually stamp something else and use this as a tag. Here's another tag. So, bonus. So she just punctured the two holes here, guys, so she could thread the ribbon through that. I love this bags. They're pretty. So let me see. This is a tag. Nope. These are her tags in here. Let's wait for those. She included a little bag, guys, of goodies. 
It says, have a sweet holiday. Definitely a treat. She's got candy, chapsticks, bling. I'll open it up so you guys can see all that's in here. If you want to be surprised, don't look. She's got some beautiful strips of bling and different colors. Look at this. In four different colors, she included the bling. And uh, let me zoom in. That way you guys can get a better look. I think I'm conquering this video, this camcorder. And do they even call them any, any like that anymore, guys? I'm so I'm not techy at all. So anything that I've learned on the computer, I actually learned myself, and boy, that was a challenge for me. So if I don't email or stuff like that, it's because I'm waiting for my daughter to do it because I don't know none of that stuff. So don't get mad at me. She gifted everybody some peppermints. I love peppermint. I love peppermints, and I love peppermint and chocolate together, too. And then she gifted everybody some wood pieces right here, and everybody gets a uh, Christmas uh, chapstick. So pretty. This one is called Sugar Cookies. Sugar Cookie. Yes. It doesn't get super cold here, but we still, you know, we still get chapped lips and stuff like that sometimes. Especially as Floridians, we're not used to cold weather. Here is her first tag, you guys, and she did put it in an individual bag. And she's got this beautiful, I want a candy cane like this. This must be a dye. Not sure, but she's got it layered in the silver glitter and the pink paper on top. And then she's got this mint green bow with a little holly and berries right there. She's attached it, looks like, with a brad. Yes. And I, I'm not sure. Let's see how we can open this without damaging too much. She's got to take down. Look at this uh, candy cane little bag that she has her tag in. It's so pretty. She's got to take down, but I think you all you have to do is open the, yeah, I can get it out through here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take out the whole thing, though. Yeah. Don't fall. <coughs> Excuse me. I did turn away, you guys. I didn't sneeze on the project. Here is tag one, you guys. Look at how pretty it is. And again, she's got another beautiful um, candy cane die, different than the one that she used on the packaging. And it is adhered with a piece of washi tape. So this can be removed. Put it on my table. My table's going to be full of Christmas washi, you guys. And she embossed this back piece with peppermints, and then she did uh, edge it in, um, in red. She distressed it in red. So that was her backing on her tag. And then here is the tag. She kind of, what she did was she made a heart with the candy canes. Look at how pretty. And it is a shaker, you guys. It's very, very thick. Not can, can you only see it, but you can hear it. It's a very sturdy tag. And she, um, she layered it with, and it's shabby, you guys. She's got the white glittered paper for the base and well actually I think she's got all white and then she's got the white glittered paper because it's very thick and then she's got this in a very shabby color uh, print uh, designer paper um, and the dye that she used does have where it cuts the silhouette and then it cuts the indiv individual little sections and they are stitched I hope you can see that that they do have stitching on them and then this one says joy and like I said it does have an acetate window because it is a shaker and the sequins move around in there beautifully you guys look at her beautiful hanging element it's white iridescent ribbon and then she's got this little tiny grow grain uh, bow ribbon here that she made a bow out of and then she's got this beautiful poinsettia. She's got a silver leaf right here. It's a silver foil. And then a multi-layered poinsettia with the berries. You know, I never know what, what to do with this piece. I never use it. Now I see. And then she does have it all stickled up, you guys, with... It looks like maybe a gold color. 
because it doesn't look clear or maybe it's the clear and it's picking up the red in the poinsettia because I can see color in it it's so pretty and then I'm gonna flip it to the back and there's her to and from now I know what paper she used she used the Santa Baby paper by Prima you guys that was designed by Mr. Frank Garcia and she's got the to and from with a little bit of holly here and the only reason I know is because I recognize this sheet and the smaller one I could not tell I don't think that's the Santa Baby I think that's something else but it is very pretty so that is tag one and then tag two is Oh, look at this. Here is the bag for Tag 2. It's individually in a, its own bag. Again, this one is snowflake printed all over it. And she's got this beautiful silver. Uh, it looks like a palm frond. It's pretty. I like that. And then she's got these berry uh, picks right here. It's got clear berries and it has pearls in it. And then she's got this 3D snowflake. I hauled these and I use them like that on my cards as well. So you did an excellent job of using these as a bag topper. I love it. I love it. And she did emboss her bag topper guys. So pretty. See the snowflakes where it's embossed? So let's get into this package. And she did tape it down with some washi you guys. And let's see if I can get into it. Let me set that aside. And I'm going to take it off of here because there's it's white on white and it's kind of hard to see. But look at the back. She embossed the back with, I think this is a Richard Got Eye uh, embossing folder. It's all the pine needles. And it's all white, but you can see where she beauty embossed it. Pretty. I like that. I always do that, too. And then here is her tag, you guys. Look at this. It's a monotone gift. Uh, it's a monotone t colored tag. So all the colors are the same within the same color family. Um, and she did not make this a shaker, uh, but there is dimension in between. This is, I think, an ornament uh, die. It's so pretty. And she's got this, look at that little deer right there. It's all white, guys. The background is a scalloped cut, die cut. And then she has dimension. And then she's got, uh, looks like a couple more layers. Yep. She's got a couple of layers of this cut work right here. It looks like it's a forest with a little deer right there. And then she cut out these little Christmas trees. See the trees right here? Those are in glitter paper. The other ones are just in smooth cardstock. And then she's got a collage, a cluster of berries. She's got a cluster of berries. I have glitter or something on me. She's got a cluster of berries, um, berries, of uh, pine branches right here in the smooth cardstock and then in the white glittered cardstock. She's got this beautiful little tiny bow in a very pale gray, you guys. And it's got the silver trimming on, on the edges. And then the, the she's got a little bow right here, a die cut bow. Her hanging element, again, is that beautiful. Uh, this one's more of a clear than the other one. And it's it's all glittered up, guys, in a clear. And then the back, there is her to and from. Look at how pretty it is. That's very pretty, Miss Krista. It's so pretty. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making one for me. And uh, thank you for all the goodies. I, I really appreciate that. Anyway, her, her link to her channel, guys, is going to be in the description box. And she is Scrap and Fever here on YouTube. And I'm going to link uh, her channel in the description box. I believe I did see a video on this, guys. If I find that exact video that coordinates with this, with these tags, I will link that in the description box. Thanks for playing, Miss Krista. Thank you for making one for me. 
up next we have Miss Andre Gold. Uh, Miss Andre Andre Gold. Miss Andre has participated in it, several of my swaps. Uh, I haven't hosted very many, but she has participated in a couple of them that I have hosted. And I want to thank you, Miss Andre, for always commenting, always. Uh, supporting me and no matter what I'm doing and I really appreciate that. I know a lot of times I just give a heart on the comments you guys but I do read each and every one of them and if there's a question or something like that I always try to answer it and Miss Andre is one of those who consistently uh, on a regular basis she's commenting on the videos she's supporting my channel thank you Miss Andre very much for that. Uh, Miss Andre made one for made a card for me, you guys, and this is what her card. I don't know what paper this is. This is very pretty paper. Oh my goodness, that is super pretty. And she made me a card, you guys. So this is the card that Miss Andre made for me. It says Silent Night. And you know what? I receive it. I've had several things that say Silent Night. I receive it. <laughs> And she says, let's see, here it says, all is calm, all is bright. And she's got this beautiful silver trim right here with a snowflake. Yes. And this looks like, I don't know, it feels like glossy, like if, mm, I don't know. I don't know what she did to it. So that's very pretty. And she's, oh, happy holidays to you too as well, Miss Andre. <laughs> Thank you. She's just thanking me, guys, for letting her uh, swap. And I try, like I said, to give everybody a chance. And sometimes I pay for that. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. It's been manageable. Anyway, this is what Miss Andre's packages look like, guys. And she's got them all in these beautiful... Um, I don't even know what you call this pattern. It reminds me of a quilt because it's got the stitching and all that. And I do a little bit of quilting, guys, but not too much because I stay so wrapped up in many projects, but I have made some. And um, this is what her packages look like. They are personalized. Everybody has a little flower with their name on them, a little poinsettia tag right here. So there's a bonus tag for you guys. And they're all closed with these white closed pins that you can alter, definitely. And here is the back. So pretty. It looks like she sent everybody candy. Yum. Oh, look. Ah, uh, I had it on backwards. The tag had fallen off, you guys, and I was replacing it and didn't realize that the clothespin was decorated on one side so it's got this peppermint stripe on the on on the clothespin with a little red bow and then a little white pom-pom look at how pretty so everybody's is personalized you guys so pretty so i'm going to remove these because mine does have my name on it so i know which one it is and let me put these back in the package so i can um sort everything out and hopefully get these in the mail today um, this is the one that Miss Andre made for me and she did tell me she sent me a couple of extra goodies so let's take this apart I believe these are her tags so I'm going to move them over here up so I can wait on those this is the goodie bag that she sent me you guys and it says Miss Ida from Andre Gold And she did tape it in the front, in the top. That way nothing falls off. Ooh, it's a hot cocoa mix, you guys. Hot cocoa peppermint, warm wishes. I've never seen these before. Yes, thank you. I'm going to enjoy that. And then she sent me, let's see, let's move that. Y'all heard some of my things fall earlier, right? I'm stacking everything in the corner. Let's open this. Let's see. She told me she had sent me some extra goodies. So she's got them in this little bubble uh, bag. Aw, look at this. 
look at this little uh, teapot and this I believe is for you to put like your tea bag instead of just putting it anywhere is to put your tea bag when it's wet on there that is so pretty that is going to go on my drink station I guess you could make use it as an ornament but I'm gonna put it on my drink station because I do have different teas and stuff on my drink station oh look at this she sent me this little tiny cardinal look at it guys it's so pretty yes the Christmas cardinal charm it says this little cardinal brings good luck to you it symbolizes the power of faith in all you do its brilliant red color symbolizes joy and Christmas cheer bringing beauty and warmth to last throughout the year thank you Miss Agnes wishing you all the joys of the season Aww. thank you I appreciate it that is so pretty and then she sent me um, yes oh oh these are pretty she sent me some wood pieces guys look this one says Jesus saves this I'm going to have to do something to put it in my Bible and this one may be a marker the little praying hands the cross that says Jesus saves and then the little angel right here oh that's pretty you know guys so you know how we do um, we alter our Bibles we do uh, coloring and stuff in our Bibles this would be great to adhere it to the page where it's talking about salvations salvation which I think is Romans 10 9 you could uh, adhere this to that page and always when you want to show somebody and tell somebody about you know the gift that God gave us you know who, which is Jesus Christ and salvation and the things that we must do to be saved you know and you you sometimes we don't remember those things you know where exactly we remember it but we don't remember exactly where in the Bible it says I could adhere this to that and I, I although I remember it because when we would evangelize um, I made myself memorize it because I wanted to be able to show people not just tell them not something that it was an idea in my mind but the Word of God you know so I memorized it but this would be great, especially when you're a babe in Christ, a new beginner, you're just starting to read. This will remind you where you saw that. The praying, where it talks about praying without ceasing, you know, that, that you know, to always be in prayer, that would be great there. And then the angel, where it says, you know, that, Lord, that, that we, all that are called to salvation, have an assigned angel. And to be careful how you treat those that have been called to salvation, because their angel spends time in the presence of the Lord. So this would be a great place to bookmark that, and it wouldn't be too bulky and always remember. And I think that's what I'm going to do with mine, guys. I think that's a brilliant idea. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for that thought, for that idea. So there's that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to share with you her tags. And again, she's got the beautiful altered clothes pin. And I, again, I don't know if she altered them or if she bought them that way, but they're beautiful nonetheless. And she's got this beautiful paper as a bag topper. And let's take this off and let's see what her swap looks like or her tags. You know, I was talking to the Lord this morning and I was saying, Lord, I feel like like I'm drifting away from you. And I know it's me. It's not you because the Lord never leaves us. And um, and I said, give me some words, Lord. Give me something to tell your creation. And there it is, guys. There it is. Thank you, Miss Agnes. He used Miss Agnes to put his words in my mouth. A reminder of his words. Um this is her first tag, guys, and I think she created three tags plus the one that was on the bag. She made this beautiful Christmas bell, and, and she embossed it, guys, so it's blue, and it's got hollies embossed. I hope you can see that. I know there's a glare, but it's embossed, and she's got this beautiful layered snowflake in the white iridescent, and then the the blue acrylic one on top of that and she trimmed the base of the bell in this bling and it's got a, the little ringer right here guys hear it 
and she's got beautiful lace down here. Here's her hanging element, white ribbon, and then this little tiny blue bow. And here's the back, you guys, the to and from. Beautiful, again, sturdy tags. Thank you, Miss Agnes, for that. So there is tag one. And then I'm going to show you tag two. And remember, we're going to have three tags in this. Here's tag two, guys. And it's a mitten. Look at how pretty. Again, she used that same beautiful shabby Christmas paper. But it's it's uh, it looks very realistic and shabby at the same time. So I really like the pine cones and all that in this paper. She's got a beautiful snowflake right here. And she edged the mitten in white stickles. She trimmed the cuff of the mitten in this beautiful double row of lace. And she's got this very soft... Um, it feels like um, crochet thread, yarn, like yarn. She's got the pink bow and a cluster of the little pom-poms right here in the red, green, and the white. And then here's the back, the to and from. So this is tag two, you guys. And then tag three. Look at the pretty bird she's got on this one. Um... I saw this bird. I don't know if I saw it on her channel. So if I find that Miss Agnes did a video on this, I will definitely link it because I believe I saw this. But my mind isn't what it used to be, guys. So, But if, if, if she did, I'm going to link it in the description box. Look at this little bird that she put on here. And it's got puffy snow, guys, all over it, even on the little bird. And his little feather is up on dimension. Look at that. It's up on dimension. He's got fur on his hat. And, she's, and he or she has... Um, glossy accents so this is very glossy so pretty and then she's got again one of her little white pom-poms and there's the little pine needle branch with the berries oh that's so pretty and it is a tag shape and then she's got another I don't even feel it might have already been like this maybe Yes, I think the design paper was already printed this way. And uh, as far as these two pieces go, it says Merry Christmas. And then, of course, she added the little bird with the hat and added her dimension right there. On, and it's on this white and red peppermint stripe paper. And her hanging element is a beautiful uh, red ribbon with snowflakes and flourishes going through it. And then this little red and green peppermint uh, twine. And she uh, edged it all the way around with lace, guys. Look at that. That's pretty. And then there's the to and from. So pretty, Miss Agnes. Thank you. Look at that, guys. Here are all her tags. I want to thank you, Miss Agnes for uh, the reminder, the reminder that Jesus saves. And uh, not that I had forgotten, but sometimes we all get busy, you guys, and we don't make time for the Lord. So especially this week, I've been making time for the Lord and, and getting back to where I was before because um, the Lord doesn't walk away from us. We're the ones who do that, guys. We get too wrapped up, and I don't ever want to do that. And this is a reminder Thank you, Miss Agnes. So this is what Miss Agnes created, you guys. She gave you all goodies to stay warm. In these winter nights, I know that everybody's having cold weather right now. So the hot cocoa is going to fit the bill. And um, we have one more group left, guys. But hopefully we'll get them all done and then prepare for the next one. And Miss Agnes does have a YouTube channel. And I'm going to link her in the description box as I'm, I am going to link all the ladies who were in this group again this was group 10 and um and we had miss emma mangifico we had michelle randolph scrap and fever and miss andre gold thanks for watching you guys thanks for participating thank you for creating one for me i absolutely love everything and thank you for the great job you did for your group members thanks for watching you guys everyone have a great day and god bless bye